Let's do one through five of the review of this video. Let's do. So we're going to start off here. Find the component form and magnitude of the indicated vector. They give us two points. So there's like this rule for how to do that. Uh, stop minus start, perhaps. Right. Another way to say that is second minus first. Or Are you drinking a Dr. Peck while recording? I am indeed. Or um, it, in the book it said head minus tails. Head so, minus tails sounds good too. I'm so, going to eat my cheese. <laughs> <laughs> How's that cheese smell? Better than the other cheese. Okay. Um, so we want to do, since it's P to Q, we want to do like negative 10 minus a negative 9. Which is going to actually be... Negative 10 plus 9. Right, and then 0 minus 5. Right. That's going to give us component form. Right. That's all there is to it. So that's 10 plus 9. Negative 10 plus 9 is negative 1. Uh, 0 minus 5 is negative 5. That's component form. Dingsy, dingsy, doozy. The magnitude is the square root of our component form. Squared. Squared. Yep. So square the 1, square the 5. And make sure that when you do this, you put the negatives inside the parentheses. Otherwise, you're going to wind up with who knows what. Yeah, it could be really wacky. Probably not the right answer. Yeah, so it won't be is, the right answer. This is 1 plus 25, which is 26. So that's the square root of 26 and for it, our answer. And it doesn't go anywhere else. It's That's all it is. And there are, there are two parts of this answer uh, for this question. Right. Ask the component form and the magnitude. Right, right. Got to answer everything. So how about number two? Uh, find a component form of the indicated vector. They want us to find 8u minus 5v. So multiply 8 with all the things inside of u and 5 with all the things inside of v. And you can actually go about this kind of two ways because you can either multiply the second vector by 5 or negative 5. Yeah, either way. If you multiply it by negative 5, then you're adding in between them. Right. And that personally, that's my preference, that I would rather do 40 comma 48 put the you know put the 8 through and then go ahead and distribute the negative 5 so that it's positive 35 comma negative 10 now we're just adding add those, those guys up so yeah 40 plus 35 75 and 48 minus 10 38 I'm all over that um number three the unit vector unit vector so the formula that we have on our unit circle card for finding a unit vector. Here's the answer, so we can make sure we're doing everything All right. okay. Uh, for finding unit vectors, is it says 1 over the magnitude of v times v. Right. So we need to find the magnitude of this, and then we put it underneath 1 and distribute it into our vector. So the magnitude here is going to be 3 squared plus negative 4 squared underneath our square root right and that actually that's a pythagorean triple that ends up hey, being five hey shut the front door i will not dang so one over five we're going to distribute into three comma negative four and so you literally just distribute that one fifth times three three fifths three fifths and one fifth times negative four Negative four fifths. But here's the tricky part, and whenever I first did this problem this morning, I actually screwed this up. It doesn't want the component form. It wants this as a linear combination of the standard oh, unit vectors of I, and I and J. J. Oh, oh, I know. Okay. Three fifths I minus four fifths J. That's right. all there is to it. And there's no arrow brackets around it whenever it's in that form. You and there's no comma. You actually no, put you leave it just like that. Plus or minus depending on whether our y component is plus or negative. Right. All right. Uh, find the component form of the vector v. This is a really important concept. We have to do this a whole lot whenever we're dealing with vectors because what really matter. I, there's four things I guess you could say. Four things, not five four things that matter when it comes to vectors. Their x and y components right. and their magnitude and directioning. Right, you gotta have all that together. And it depends on what the situation is as to which way you need right. it. Right. So you have to be able to go back and forth, which is what it, problems four and five are doing. So remember the component form is the magnitude times cosine of, of the, the angle. angle. And then the, you gotta have magnitude, sine, angle. And remember with all of this, x always goes back to um, cosine. Right. And y always goes back to sine. Just like it did Just since like we the, started yeah. with the unit circle. Hey, my goodness, this is a unit circle question. Because cosine of 300, you can find that on the unit circle. That would be one half. Right. And sine of 300 would be... Root 3 over 2. Now, actually, one or... 
Well, this one's negative because it's down here in the fourth right. quadrant. Got to pay attention to that part. Yeah, so we need to do 88 times 1 half, which gives us... 44. And 88 times negative square root of 3 over 2. Negative 44 root 3. Now, we like that answer, you and I. We like that answer. Yeah. It just so happens the key for this writes negative 44 square roots of 3 as a decimal. Hmm. And if you were to do that, it gives you negative 76... Point two one, um, but understand if it's on the unit circle, we expect you to yeah. look at that. So there should be no decimal if it's on the unit circle. And and you have to in our humble opinions. Yeah, you have to remember like what makes it be on the unit circle. If it has a zero or a five at the end, check and see if it's on there. If right. it has a three on the end, it's not on there. You know, like two hundred thirteen degrees. It's not yeah, on the unit circle. <laughs> I mean, it's on the unit circle, but it's not on the There's, unit circle. We don't have circle. the points for it. So. So now let's go the other way. This is the component form on number five. Right. We want to find the magnitude and direction angle. So this time we are, we're dealing with uh, this point, negative 114, which is up here, and we could make a triangle out of that. And how do we find the length of that line and the angle? Well, we would do the Pythagorean theorem to find the magnitude. Uh, or 1 squared plus 14 squared. Which is the Pythagorean theorem? Um, or you could do Pythag Pythagorean theorem. Okay. No? What's 14 squared? It's 278. I bet it's 256, but let me just double check. I don't think either of those are right. I think it's 196. 196. Okay. That's what I said. So if you add one to that, you get 197. Right. So that's the square root of 197. Pretty sure that doesn't simplify. Pretty confident about Pretty that. sure or? Pretty sure. Okay. Uh, that's as much as I can give you. Uh, and then to find the angle, we need to do inverse tangent of the y over the x. Inverse tangent, coming up. And it asks for this to be in degrees. So, And in how degrees. do you know? Because yes, it sir. says between 0 degrees and 360. Did you just call me sir? Yes, ma'am, Ruzies. So, was that 14 over negative 1? Uh, yeah. Converting, converting, efforting, efforting. I got negative 85.914 diggers. I, I agree. Now remember that's giving you the reference angle. So that's giving you this angle right here. That wasn't a very good color to pick. It's that co that's that angle right there. We need this angle to get around there. So 180 plus. 94.086. And the reason he said plus is because they, the negative is in our, in our answer on our calculator. So if you're doing answer something, you, need, you would add these together. If you're typing it in yourself, you need to do 180 minus 85. Right. Yeah, right. So right. what did you say it was? Uh, 94.086. Ninety-four point zero eight six degrees. Degrees. All right. 